Hey, what's up, guys? Nixby One HD here. Welcome back to episode number four of my of my F1 2023 Haas career mode. And uh, in today's episode, we we have got um, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So if you guys did miss the Monaco Grand Prix, I would highly recommend going back and checking that out. Uh, but before we get into it, but before we get into practice, make sure you drop a like on the video if you are enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe for more. And let's get into practice here around the streets of Baku. Here we go. Right, okay, here we are then. Ready for practice here around the streets of Baku. So let me go ahead and... So we've got preset four loaded up, which is what we want. So let's get out on track and let's see what we can do. Here we go. Okay, so getting ready to go out on track. If you guys did see the last episode, I'm still pretty disappointed about what happened in the feature race around Monaco. But it is what it is. Uh, I have actually turned red flags off because they do seem to be a bit broken at the moment on F123 so uh, yeah so for now red flags I have turned off go so yeah really am enjoying the uh, the career mode still it's still a lot of fun and uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can bounce back and um, and um, and uh, you know, extend our lead in the Formula Two uh, Championship, um, which will be really, really good. Okay, nicely done. Break the break. section okay my my light seems to be uh, flickering quite a bit so I'm just gonna turn that off there we go apologies for that so yeah I'll probably have to so I probably will charge up I probably will have to charge it up um, when I finish this uh, recording so yeah of course we're still doing the um, of course we're still doing the breaking point story mode still thoroughly am enjoying that if you guys didn't see the recent episode if you guys didn't see the recent episode I would highly recommend going back and checking that out as I completely forgot to do the break buyers Nicely done. Okay, activate the DRS. Done. Okay, 
Ay, no se dan. Ay, very good. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully we can do a bit better around the streets of Baku than we did around the streets of Monaco. So, um, yeah. But yeah, I'm really glad, I'm, I really am glad I started out in the Formula 2 Championship. You know, you know, I just, I just like to, you know, it just makes, just makes it a bit more realistic for me than just jumping, you know, straight into Formula 1 because, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta start, you know, you gotta start, oh no, damn it. It's always that wall I seem to clip. I always forget how loose and lively the F2 cars are in 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 F1 in F1 in the F1 games. Let's go back to 52 because okay, where we go. Okay, nicely done. Oh, what? Let me know you're okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was the first, well. Okay, here we go. Turn for chair now. Let's just put in the fastest lap. Round we go. Okay, nicely done. Hey, we take fastest lap back. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave the brake brake buyers up to 55.
much fuel we've got left. Two laps of fuel. Gonna get the wall. <laughs> oh, that was close. So probably... So I'm thinking at the end of lap five, we will box and then we'll jump straight into uh, qualifying. So yeah, it's a safety car, safety cars, they're still one and that's set to increase. The only thing, the only thing I've turned off is red flags. Um, because yeah, they seem to be a little bit broken, broken at the moment on F1 2023. And you know, it's not just just me who's um, basically. In case you guys don't know what happened, basically, um, right off the right, pretty much right off the start, as we were about to go um, through up through Zanderbot, uh, we got a red flag, and I opted not to uh, change tyres. And um, and um, and uh, but then when you jump back into the race start, it says your tyre wear is a hundred percent, and I thought that just does not make any sense whatsoever. So you know, so I like thought, okay, let's try and change changing to the super soft tyres. But again, it came up with the same problem: tyre wear was at a hundred percent. You know, so yeah. I, yeah, yeah, so I just thought I'm just going to turn the red flags off for now. So we're going to box at the end of this lap as, uh, okay, as uh, Amiri Cordiel puts in the uh, fastest lap. Come on, there we go. Right, let's. Uh, Okay, so the team know that we are going to be boxing. Hit the wall quite a lot in practice. Break, break, break. Okay, round we go. Up through the castle section. Very good. What's our tyre wear saying? Okay, rear tyres are starting to get a bit worn. But the front tyres aren't too bad. Oh, this is this is getting beyond a joke. It really is. going to dive into the pits and then we'll so we'll pit and then we'll skip the final uh, 17 minutes of practice and then we'll jump straight into uh, then we'll jump straight into qualifying
Okay, so we'll skip the the final 16 minutes of practice and then we'll jump straight into qualifying. So, uh, yeah, of course, we're still doing the Breaking Point 2 story mode. Still really am enjoying that. Um, if you guys haven't seen uh, the first three episodes of that, I would highly recommend going back and checking that out. Really am enjoying it still. It's still a lot of fun. And I'm still absolutely loving F1 uh, 2023, despite, despite the issues uh, that the game still has. I'm still enjoying it, which is the main thing. Cars are now over the line. Your top three again are Cordial, Bips, Callan Williams. Thank you for joining us for free practice today. We'll be back with more Formula 2 action very shortly. So there we go then. The end of practice and Amiri Cordial does top um, practice. Uh, only 5,000 separating him and Yuri Vips. Uh, Callan William, Williams in third, 66 thousandths of a second. Uh, off um, Amiri Cordial's time and we finish down in 10th so let's get into qualifying here for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix here we go Right, okay, here we are then, ready for qualifying here around the streets of Baku. So, let's jump into it and let's see where we can put the car on the grid for the race tomorrow. Tiny tap of the wall there. But we're going to come up to the line. Is it going to be pole position for the feature race? Yes, it is. Come on. Let's go. Good job, mate. Really, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Bring it home. Qualifying is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are Mr. Monaco, Halga and Jay Deruvula. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So we do take pole position uh, for the feature race. Dennis Halga, he's going to be starting in P2 ahead of his Prima teammate Jan Deruvula. So let's get into the sprint race. Here around the streets of Baku. Here we go. Baku never fails to disappoint fans of Formula 2. So hold on tight. The cars are set on the grid and any moment will be starting today's race. Welcome to Azerbaijan. This is not your usual racing circuit. It 
provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. Joining me today is a man who is no stranger to going fast. Davide Valsecchi of GP2 2012 fame. Great to have you here today, Davide. Are you enjoying yourself here in the beautiful city of Baku? Absolutely, Alex. Baku is fantastic. It's so distract. Have a check. The architecture, the narrow street. Easy to see why it's one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar. But Alex, street circuits can be unforgiving. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a safety car or two out during today's race. Right, okay, here we are then, ready down on the grid, ready for the sprint race here around the streets of Baku. So, we are going to be starting on a set of, we are going to be taking, we've got seven laps ahead of us in the sprint race. We are going to be taking a set of super softs all the way to the checkered flag. So, let's jump into it, here we go. The formation lap gets underway for this, the Formula 2 race and every driver looking to settle in for the race ahead making sure the car is ready for battle once the lights go out so it looks like everyone else is going to be starting on super soft tires <coughs> um, during the sprint race so we've got Sato starting on pole position in his UNI Virtuosi we're, we're going to be starting 10th we are almost ready to start the Formula 2 race as the cars take their positions on the grid the drives and teams making their final Okay, getting ready, getting ready for the five red lights here around the streets of Baku. Here we go. Come on, nice, clean and tidy start. And it is lights out and away we go. And what a start that is. That is a very good reaction time. I'm going to get squeezed in by Teoport Chair, but we are going to battle our way through the inside and we're up to P3 so we got Paul Strugovic so we got his teammate Clement Novelak up the inside of, of the other MP Motorsport car and, we, and we've done it okay so we got Marina Sato up next Gaining, gaining, just, just trying to close up to the Japanese driver in his in his virtuosi car. Are you okay? Oh That's my gosh. Hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Oh. But I did exactly what I did in practice.
close back up to uh, Marina Sato Okay, so we've just got past Marina Sato for the race lead. We're leading our teammate by 13.5 seconds. Okay, so we're 13.5 seconds clear of Logan. Um, so we've got so we've got three more laps to go in the sprint race here around Baku, here around the streets of Baku. a slight touch of the wall, I don't think we picked up any damage. No 
tire concerns at the moment, just focus on the track. Okay, onto the penultimate lap of the race. got to stay focused and just hopefully try and bring home the race victory because of course around Monaco we did well but we didn't win it uh, we came P2 Jack Dewan won the sprint race around Monaco and then unfortunately the feature race in Monaco we had to retire from because of that glitch with the red flag so um, yeah So we got so we got Novelak in P3, Drogovic in P4 and Fred Vesti in P5. What's our tire wear status? Okay, the rear tires, yeah. Final lap of the race. It's going to be really close between myself and Marina Sato. So I think in the feature race it's 10 laps, I want to say, or it might be 11, I'm not too sure. It's either 10, it's 10 or 11, I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Okay. Okay, round we go. through the castle section. Here we go. The checker flag is waiting for us. It's going to be so close between myself and Marina Sato, but I think we have done enough to take the sprint race victory here, here around Baku. Oh, what a result! That just fantastic, amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate.
And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Mr. Monaco increases their championship lead. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Balsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. I have to give it to Mr. Monaco. They did a great job at getting the most out of tires without losing pace. That's a good skill to have. On to the teams then. Carlin have extended their lead at the top of the standings. It was also a strong race from Trident this weekend. Fantastic work from the Italian team to move themselves further up the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So, there we go then. The end of the sprint race here around here around uh, the streets of Baku in Azerbaijan. We take home the race victory and the bonus point for fastest lap of the race. Marina Sato, he comes through for P2. Clement Novalak, uh, he comes through for P3. Felipe Drogovic in 4th. Fred Festi in 5th. Richard Vashore in 6th, Teo Porcher in 7th, and Marcus Armstrong in 8th. So, let's get into the feature race here around the streets of Baku. Here we go. Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula 2. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector 1 sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector 2 gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector 3 just turn 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. We are nearly ready for the start of today's race, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the grid. Mr. Monaco lines up on pole position with Dennis Hauger alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Daruvala, Armstrong, Teo Porcher, and Vashor, Vesti, Drugovic, Novolak, Marino Sato, Cordiel, Fittipaldi, Ayumu Awasa, Yuri Vips, Williams, Hughes, Calderon, Oli Caldwell, Sargent, Dewey, Boschon, and Roy Nisani completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. There looks to be a challenging race ahead of the drivers today, Davide. With that in mind, what are you looking out for today? Well, Alex, I want to see how the drivers at the back of the grid are going to run down. They'll need to make an impact in the early stages, and they're probably hoping for a bit of luck at the start. We may see some bold manoeuvres out there today. Right, okay, here we are then, ready, down on the grid, ready for the um, <clears throat> ready for the feature race here around the streets of Baku. Ten laps ahead of us, so we are going to be going with the one-stop strategy for the race today. So we're going to be starting on the set of the uh, uh, super soft tyres and then changing over to a set of mediums to see us through to the chequered flag. So, let's get into the formation lap. that gets underway for this the formula 2 race and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead making sure the car is ready for battle once the lights go out so everyone's starting on a set of the uh everyone's starting on a set of the super soft tires for the for the um for the uh feature race We are almost ready to start the Formula 2 race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. Okay, getting ready to line up on the grid. 
So we've got Roina just waiting on Roy Nassani to round out, round off at the rear of the field. But here we go. Waiting on the five red lights. And it is lights out and away we go for, for the feature race here in Baku. Very good reaction time off the line. So yeah, I'm hoping we can take home the race victory uh, today after we were robbed at Monaco. <laughs> so I'm hoping we can win the, win the uh, future race. Of course, we did take home the race victory in the sprint, can, but I want to win. I want to win both, ideally. Castle section. Got to be careful of Dennis Halger in his Prima because that Prima car is very quick indeed. So far, good start. Good start to the good start to the sprint race here around the streets of Baku. Okay, so we are going to be boxing onto the medium tyres round about lap five. Is Dennis Halgo going to have a little, a little look for a move? I think he is. But we are going to hold firm. We do make a tiny bit of contact with the Norwegian. There. Did 
definitely feel these tyres starting to go. We expect you'll be noticing a bit of grip loss in the tyres around now, so just be careful. Yep, I'm already experiencing, I'm already starting to experience it, Mark. <laughs> okay, round we go. Alright, come on. So, the team want us to pit at the end of this lap, I'm up that. for that, absolutely. I can definitely feel these tyres starting to go, so... I think it's a good... we're going to put our faith with Mark and the team, and... <clears throat> yeah, these are... yeah, these are really starting to go, these tyres. where warning light has come on so I think this is a pretty safe bet for pitting now okay I was not expecting <coughs> Marcus Armstrong to look for a move there clean and tidy stop by the team right let's go a decent pit time then the team will be hoping they can get back into the action as fast as possible and not lose too much time from the stop okay pit strategy complete see these tires through to the end now okay Okay, so we still, so we still have the fastest lap. So we still got the fastest lap of the race. No. Well, oh, you are joking. Okay. Right, try again. Okay.
Surely everyone else is going to be pitting. Helga's in. Okay, so all the other cars are into the pits, so we should be okay, in, the pits. in, in the pits now. should be in P1. And, and we are in P1, good. So we've got four more laps left, excuse me, we've got four more laps left of the um, feature race here around Streets of Baku, so we've just got to take it easy, try and pull away from uh, Jake, um, not Jake Hughes, Dennis Halger. Um, and uh, try and bring the try and bring it home. Marcus Armstrong now is putting the fastest lap time. Okay, 
Okay, so we're on to lap eight now. So we are re so we are doing. This has been a fantastic race for us, and will be nice to take home our second race victory of the weekend here around the streets of Baku. Round we go, nicely done. Break the brake. Beautiful. Novel axe out, okay. On to lap nine now. <clears throat> okay, so we are really pulling clear from Logan Sargent as Jan Deruvela now puts in the fastest lap of the race. Just about managed to keep it out the wall there. Up of the race. Yeah, indeed. Marina Sato now with the fastest lap. Got more yellow flags out. Someone else with issues. So Marcus Armstrong's gone up to P2. So if him and Hauger can keep battling it out, that will be really good news for me. We were absolutely robbed of the race victory here in Monaco with the red flag glitch. But we are going to be bouncing back and taking home the race victory here around the streets of Baku. section like Mark said we've just got to keep our concentration
Come on. Have we done it? Yes! Get in there! Oh. I genuinely thought Marcus Armstrong was going to get us there. But we've done it. Get in there. make mistakes but then not make mistakes on your own you can just push and push and there you have it today's winners having raised some of the biggest names in f1 to date carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent no doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them they certainly deserve it after today's performance Mr. Monaco increases their championship lead. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stats. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? It's a difficult one, but they got to go for the Carlin driver. I have to give it to Mr. Monaco. They pushed and pushed and found some fantastic performance. It was a pleasure to watch. And now a look at the team standings. Carlin have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from ART this time out they improve their position in the championship. There will be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you'll join us at the next race when Formula 2 returns. So, there we go then. The end of the feature race here around the streets of Baku. And after the, and after the absolute disappointment in Monaco, we bounce back and we take home the race victory in the feature race and the sprint race around Baku. Uh, Marcus Armstrong, it was so close. 80, only 86 thousandths of a, only 86 thousandths of a second separating us. Come the checkered flag, he comes through for P2. Dennis Halger rounding out the podium finishers in third. Richard Vashor in fourth. Teo Porcher fifth. Fred Vesti sixth. Uh, Felipe Drogovic in seventh. Enzo Fittipaldi in eighth. Jan Derubula in ninth. And Marina Sarto down in 10th but he does pick up the bonus point for fastest lap so we so we now have a 61 point lead over over Dennis Halger in the championship uh with 75 points clear of Felipe Drogovic in third uh Miri Cordiel in fourth Marcus Armstrong fifth Richard Vashaw sixth Teo Porcher seventh Jack Lewin in eighth Marina Sato in ninth Oli Caldwell tenth uh Ayumu Awasa in 11th Fred Vesti in 12th, Jan Derubula 13th, Yuri Vips 18th, Enzo Fittipaldi 15th, JQ 16th, Amiri uh, Clement Novelak in 17th, Callum Williams in 18th, and yet to score points are Tatiana Calderon, Roy Nassani, Ralph Boschon, and our teammate Logan Sargent. Looking at the champion, looking at the constructors' standings, we have a 44 point lead over Prima, ART in third. Uh, Virtuosi in fourth, uh, MP Motorsport fifth, um, Vans Armsfoot Racing in sixth, High Tech GP in seventh, Trident in eighth, Campos ninth, Dams in tenth, and Sharus down in eleventh with eight points. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, make sure you drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more. And I will see you guys for some more F123 content very soon.